guys to run yet, so I thought I'd quickly do you guys a red crab uh, bait demo for muscle cracker, um, as you guys had asked. Um, so this morning I've got myself some crabs, and first I'm going to run you through the trace that I use and why I use it, and then I'll do the bait demo for you guys. So basically, in my I have a little ziplock with a trace in, and in this trace I have two hooks, two different size hooks. Um, in this case, I went for an eight-o and a six-o. So that's for the different size crabs. The reason I have a 6 and an 8 in my box is because of the different size of crab that I might be collecting. So I made this trace beforehand, not knowing which size crabs I might have. And now that I've collected bait, now I'm going to choose a hook that is proportional to my crab size. So this crab over here is a 6 so that'll be, that'll be better suited to the size and this one has the 8 -o. For the purpose of this bait demonstration, go for the 8 um, This size will also work well for a high new um, and this will go for a 8 uh, for a cracker. So I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take my bigger crab and then the first thing that I'm gonna do is break the leg off. Then I'm gonna take the my, my, my hook and I'm gonna stick it through the hole where the leg is in. The leg that I broke and you break the other side off and you stick the hook through trying to find the hole on the other side the other side where the paw came through now this is why I don't tie my trace when it's um, in the packet I leave it untied because this is where the trick comes in now you take your trace that you've already made and now you only start tying your Out the figure eight nicely. Roll into the shank. Hold the hook when you secure the knot and not the crab. I'm going to cut this tag end off. Okay, I'm get off. Now this is what helps you cast. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cotton these legs up along the line. As you can see, this crab's not so good looking anymore. And then there you go, guys. Nice, natural looking crab bait. The hook is nice and secure. There's no legs that are going to be, that's going to cause friction while you cast, which helps the casting ability. As you can see, the hook is nice and proud. It's important to use a nice, strong hook for muscle cracker. They have seriously big mouths with strong, strong teeth, molars as teeth, to crush these crabs. And they can easily open hooks. So it's important to have a nice, strong hook. Furthermore, the trace that I'm using, I've got 0.73 fluorocarbon here. I usually use 0.90 or one more maxima, but for fluorocarbon, I can go down to 7.3 or 7.7. And then, because I'm fishing braid, uh, I've got a little stopper here that I use. You can just make another swivel here, and you fish a, I fish a, a running swivel or running sinker, this running swivel. So as the fish eats, also if it's stuck in the rocks, it doesn't feel it. As it eats, it slides, 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 it's limited, and hopefully by that time, this jay has got him in the corner. Cool, thanks guys, thanks for watching. If there's anything you would like BKK to do for you, comment the uh, bait demo below and we'll be sure to do it for you.